It was back in 2016 when Aldi in Australia was one of the first re retailers in the grocery sector to retail 3D printers. And I remember back then going to an Aldi to see what the fuss was all about. And my local one back then in Sydney had about three or four units and they sold out instantly. Well, obviously they were very popular because Aldi has since done it two more times with the Cocoon Create Touch and the Cocoon Create Mini. So we're gonna head to our local Aldi, see what the fuss is all about and uh, probably pick up some PLA while we're at it. Let's get started. So what's interesting is the company that brings the printers into Aldi is called Win Plus and I've actually worked with them before. Um, they were the company that I reached out to in 2016 to uh, get, get my first Cocoon Create 3D printer which is when we realized that they're actually a rebrand of the Wanhao 3D printers. And like I said before, like um, it, it's unusual for a supermarket to for a start sell any sort of real hardware but to sell a 3D printer is particularly strange. Uh, like we've seen 3D printers in, for example, um, hardware stores themselves. Like Bunnings had had the the Dremel Idea Maker quite a few years ago, but it wasn't very successful. And we've seen them in like stationery stores, which is a bit kind of you know, a bit strange to be honest. But for a for a, for a grocery store to sell it is very weird. So for them to do it for a fourth time as well, clearly something's working for them because you know. Um, <laughs> if they weren't very popular, they wouldn't be re reselling them. So we're going to go see what the deal is. And we're going to see if we can pick up some filament and see if anyone's there actually. Because of the, the hype for 3D printing kind of died down now. It's not as popular as it once was. And, you know, it'd be interesting to see if they had the same level of stock as they did when I first went there two years ago. So welcome to Aldi. Um, <laughs> uh, they're about to open and by the looks of it, there's just... A lot of old people um, probably waiting to do their normal shopping. So maybe the hype for 3D printing's died down. Maybe I've got the wrong day. I did say in the catalog it was today. So we're gonna go have a look inside and see if there's machines um, and see if anyone picks them up as well. So obviously in Audi, I didn't want to record too conspicuously, but look at this pile of printers. When I first went two years ago, there was like three or four. This was over 10. I think there was 10 or 11 printers and a big pile of filament. So I grabbed myself some PLA and I saw one guy grab a printer, but that was about it. All right guys, that was really interesting. So there was only one guy that went in to grab a printer and they had at least 10 Cocoon Create Touches, which is pretty nuts. I got some filament, which is this really nice slate gray PLA. It's hard to find nice gray. So if you're after a 3D printer in 2018, I can honestly say in Australia, this is probably the best deal right now. It's, uh, this is the Fairy Meadow Aldis and they had like 10 as of right now. And you get like 60 days return, like no questions asked. And it's a Cocoon Create Touch link here for my review of this machine. It's really quite good. So yeah, it looks like the hype's died down, but if you want a machine, I'd hurry in and grab one. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna enjoy using my PLA. And if you wanna see future 3D printing videos on Making Smooth, hit that subscribe button. Helps us out a huge amount. Looks forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. <laughs> Probably not in the car park next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Of the 20th century. And man has sent rockets into deep space. He has placed satellites into water. He has actually.